Welcome everyone to Blaugrana Planet, welcome back to a new video and today we are at Camp Nou to watch the exposition of the Nou Spy Barça, the project that Football Club Barcelona definitely need to build already and it's a determinant project which is going to be voted by the Socios the 19th of December and it's going to be electronic vote, Victor Font. <laughs> They copied you? <laughs> Maybe not. It's it's basics. Anyways, guys, follow me. This is the exposition. All right, so we're here, and in this exposition, guys, they're gonna be showcasing how the Spy Barça is gonna be looking. Obviously, this is the new stadium, we all know the new stadium, and this is the new Palau as well, which is also gonna be built. Together with the whole Spy Barça, it's gonna be a great thing. So what's in this exposition? Basically, they're gonna explain us how it's gonna be looking and how we will be making this happen. Vamos. So here we have a brief explanation of how the setup is gonna be looking, guys. Basically, we're gonna have a third uh, row here and we're gonna have a whole stadium covered, 100% covered. Obviously, there's gonna be a space for the green and we're gonna have beautiful scenes here with, uh, with, the, with the screens going on and there's gonna be a great ambience and, and obviously it's not gonna be falling apart like it's falling now, right? I mean, look at this, this is beautiful. We all know this one, but, but I mean, I wanna be there. You wanna be there, everybody wants to be there. What a great moment. And Barcelona definitely deserves the stadium. Sad we don't have Messi to fill up the stadium. But you know what? I still have the hopes that we can fill up the stadium, guys. We, we will, we will, we will. I mean, just enjoy the scenes. Just enjoy the scenes, you know. And look at this, man. Ah, It looks like a Coliseum, you know. Yeah, fill it up, man. Fill it up. Damn, looks great, man. Looks really great. Just watching this, it makes me excited. So actually come with me, guys, because we're gonna show you how this project is gonna happen, right? Because you might be wondering yourselves, well, yeah, everything is very nice. The, you know, we have a nice project, but how can we do this happen? How can we make it happen? How can we do this? And to be fair, look, this, this is the, this is a, a little bit what's been going on and what will happen, right? So in 2003, actually, Mr. Juan Laporta was the first one saying, we need a new stadium and we need the, we need the stadium in 2003. In 2003, he started the project. Then in 2007, we had the project, the winning project, the Norman Foster project, which was a great thing. But in, sadly, in 2010, after Laporta left and Mr. Sandro Rosé and Bartomeu and company and all these people, they abandoned the project, right? So we lost seven years here and we lost obviously some investment, you know. Then they made up their own project, which is the Spy Barça 1.0. This is the 2.0. And it's been going on and on and on, actually got accepted. And in 2019, we did the Johan Cruyff Stadium. And, and now we're looking forward the start of the new Spy Barca project, which still needs to be approved by the, by the fans. Meanwhile, guys, we were wasting time, wasting and wasting time. Look, look, all these clubs, all these clubs have already made their own stadium. And we've wasted more than 15 years just making projects and, and San Jose taking down the projects which were already going on, wasting and wasting time. Bartomeu, Rosé, man, you guys, a disaster. Anyways, anyway, so far, the stadium is, is, is actually falling to pieces. We all know the, the stadium is falling to pieces and we need a new stadium, guys. It, it's even a threat to security, guys. So, and the thing is that Bartomeu and the, the Spy Barça 1.0, they didn't want to put too much money and apparently they, they made a, a very weird calculation. Actually, come, come here because I'll show you. This is, this is the actual budget. They said that the stadium, that the Spy Barca was going to cost 420 million. 
420, a funny number as well. And like, I mean, the whole thing was gonna cost 600 million. This guy, guy, this guy was living in another world. He was living in another world. How can you pay a stadium like this for 420 million? I don't know if it's gonna, it was gonna be a cardboard stadium or something, but yeah. Anyways, the realistic price would be around 1,000, 1,000 million, okay? If we can see Wembley, 9,000, uh, sorry, um, 900,000 people can sit there. No, no, sorry, no, no 900,000 people, 90,000 people. I messed up, I messed up, you know, we're all humans. It's about 1 million, uh, 1,000 million euros, you know, Wembley. And, and Bartomeu wanted to build it for 420 million. This guy lives in another world, you know? And we're making some improvements, you know, in order to, the, the 2.0 is gonna be improved, you know? So Bartomeu's project was not only apparently very, very cheap, which is very dodgy, but also wasn't a good project, guys. And we're, we're basically making it better here with Mr. Juan Laporta. And there's gonna be a better visibility and, and Sotheers are not gonna be having to move around and it's gonna be great, you know? I like that thing. So if you come with me here for a second, let me show you. Because this is how it's gonna look. I mean, we, we already saw it, we already saw it. There's gonna be solar panels and everything. It's gonna be more sustainable. There's gonna be more plants, more greenery. It's gonna be great. And we also improved the Palau, which is important. You know, the Palau, we made it bigger and, and there's gonna be great things. And, and not only football there, not only football, but also conferences. There's gonna be restaurants. There's gonna be esports. There's gonna be all sorts of things in which we can get the money from, you know? It's not only gonna be football, obviously, and a big investment like this, you need to get the most money possible. And that's what Laporta is trying to do. Obviously, the, the new Spy Barca is gonna be including the Palau. In the Palau, they're gonna be playing basketball, hockey, you can play basically anything, you can make concerts. Look at this, look how great it looks. It looks really great. They made it bigger. We can play the final fours here, the European finals of the Euro Leagues. It's gonna be great, man. And the, the, the Spy Barca, definitely we improved it much better here with the 2.0 and Mr. Juan Laporta did a good job. And we have a realistic perspective of what it's gonna cost, right? And this is, this is the actual perspective, guys. 900 million is gonna be the stadium instead of 420, right? The 420 number, maybe they were, they were laughing and they put this number. Actually, we do have 420 as well for the new, uh, new Palau Blaugrana, which is the, the basketball stadium. Basically, the whole investment, because it's not going to be just the stadium, but the Palau, the space, the offices, it's going to cost around 1,500 million, okay? Not easy money, not easy money, but if you're going to build a project for the next 50, 100 years, you better invest, man. You better invest. So, guys, at the end, the conclusions, I want to give you the conclusions of what this thing, this thing is. We're going to make a better club. We're going to make a better space. People are gonna be happy to come to watch Barcelona. And they're not gonna be looking up, see if there's like a rock falling on their heads, you know? Because right now, Mr. Bartomeu left us with this, you know? It's a bit depressing. And also, it's gonna make us a reference. We're already a reference, but even more. We wanna be number ones. And it's gonna be the best space that a club can ever have. And that's gonna be a Spy Barca, guys. And actually, let me tell you, you might be wondering yourself, but this for when? Me too, for when? Because since 2003, we've been thinking about new stadiums. Well, the, the, the actual works are gonna be starting next year, 2022, around uh, the end of Q2, yeah, the start of Q3. And the stadium is gonna be finished by the end of 2025. Patience, guys, patience, but it's coming. Tick tac, tick tac, Pedrerol is liking this, tick tac. And then we're gonna have the Palau Blaugrana still gonna be building. And then the, some surroundings, obviously we're gonna keep on doing things until 2027. But the stadium, guys, the stadium is gonna be done by 2025. Important, there's a year. There's a year we're gonna have to believe the stadium because if we wanna accelerate the, the works, we're gonna have to leave. Probably it'll be around 2023 and 2024, somewhere around here. It's gonna be a season. Or maybe less, who knows? But right now, it's around the season. So guys, are you excited for this? Because I'm very excited. And in fact, the 19th of December, as I said, that we're gonna have the electronic vote. And it's gonna be the first time the club members are voting electronically. And this is gonna happen through a, a referendum, guys. The 19th of December. 
so yeah basically we're, we're gonna do it electronically and it's gonna be an innovation i know victor von might be crying right now i'm sorry bro i'm sorry but it's the future pandemic is here we cannot just call out people to vote we needed the change thank you victor von for inspiring us and thank you mr juan laporta for actually making this happen the spy barça 2.0 so guys what do you guys think about this spy barça what do you think about the new project let me know all in the comments down below and of course if you enjoyed this video guys make sure to subscribe and smash the like button it's important you also hit that notification bell because if you do you'll be notified as soon as i upload my next video and now and as i always say visca el barça visca catalunya and see you in the next video Vamos, barça